my son. You know, it's he, he was the best son that you could imagine. You know, and uh, I love him so dearly and everything, but I just have to know that he didn't die in vain. You know, I, I was proud of him and uh, who he became. You know, even here, he worked here at the restaurant for eight years before he went into law enforcement. So his personality, he was the one always in the front uh, taking the orders because he had the personality because I'm the boss. That's Lonnie Calhoun breaking down as he talked publicly for the first time about his late son, 30-year-old Riverside County Sheriff's Deputy Darnell Calhoun. We just have to move forward and go ahead and and just continue our lives because that's what our son would have wanted. The Calhoun family is trying to move forward from the devastating murder of their son January 13th. Deputy Calhoun, a father of two with a third child on the way, was fatally shot when he responded to a domestic violence call near Lake Elsinore. Wednesday, the Calhoun family stood arm in arm in front of their restaurant, Calhoun's Family Texas Barbecue. Nearly three weeks after the tragic murder, the family business in Marietta was open once again. I am overwhelmed by how willingly, we are overwhelmed just by how willingly people are coming in, doing things just to help us to um, not be so sad, really to our eyes are being kept on Christ. The scent of delicious barbecue filled the air. Cooking began before dawn and crowds of people showed up for lunch. This is one way that we can all come together, come out and support the family. Deputy Calhoun worked here as a high school kid. He came up with a signature sandwich, the Lone Star. Patrons raved over the delicious food. Food has been a great way to heal from the pain. You know, he always shared with us, too, his dreams of going to law enforcement. So he lived it out. He lived out his dreams. He was a great friend. The turnout was so great today that they ran out of food by 4 o'clock this afternoon at the restaurant. They'll be open again tomorrow. The family was determined that this would be an upbeat event today, and it was. In Marietta, Laura Diaz, Fox 11 News.